In our last Adventures in Service, we met Venturing Crew 365 from the University of Evansville. After a full day of community service helping out two local churches with their restoration projects, the crew was ready to participate in a new pilot program from the BSA. The Boy Scouts of America partnered with the ATV Safety Institute to do a pilot program for ATV riding as one of Boy Scouts of America's activities. Being that this is the pilot of the Boy Scouts allowing the Scouts to actually ATV, I think that it's a good experience. I feel like if they implement the right rules and regulations and make sure that the kids understand that this isn't a game, this is something they need to take seriously. Yeah, they're here to have fun, but they're here to be safe and they don't want to ruin their trip by injuring themselves and having to sit out for the rest of the time. The ATV Safety Institute's golden rules. Always wear a helmet and other protective gear. Never ride on public roads. Another vehicle could hit you. Never ride under the influence of alcohol or other drugs. Never carry or ride as a passenger on a single rider ATV. Ride an ATV that's right for your age. Always supervise riders younger than 16. ATVs are not toys. Ride only on designated trails and at a safe speed. Today we went ATVing and we went through the safety precautions of how it works and how far we need to stay behind each other and proper ways to lean on turns and everything. Put on our helmets. When we got going, we went through a little obstacle course kind of to get used to the turns and the bumps that we would be facing. And then we actually went up into the mountains and there were lots of mud puddles that we got to go through and rocks and obstacles to go around, lots of sights. We'd look down on the mountain or look up. The view is amazing, You're kind of whipping past the trees, but it's a rush, it is so exciting. I can't wait to try it again. We got real muddy and dirty, but we had a great time. Stay tuned because ATV riding wasn't the only exciting activity of the day. Prepare for a 60 mile an hour zip line when Adventures in Service continues.